Hello artists, welcome back to the studio. This is Mrs. Spooner. This week we're going to be looking at the work of Horace Pippin. Horace Pippin was born February 22, 1888 and died on July 6, 1946. He was a self-taught black American artist who painted a range of themes from his life. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to answer the following questions. First, how does the artwork in this lesson reflect the culture and traditions of the artist? How does the artwork show what life was like during the artist's lifetime? And also, what does your artwork tell us about you? Let's learn more about the artist. A Splash of Red, The Life and Art of Horace Pippin, written by Jen Bryant, illustrated by Melissa Sweet. Horace Pippin was born in the town of Westchester, Pennsylvania on February 22, 1888. Horace loved to draw. He loved the feel of the charcoal that slid across the ground. He loved looking at something in the room and making it come alive again in front of him. He loved thinking about a friend or a pet, then drawing them from the picture in his mind. Sometimes Horace even made pictures next to the words on his spelling list. The pictures just come to my mind, and I tell my heart to go ahead. One day, Horace entered a Draw Me and Win a Prize contest. He won colored pencils, a pair of brushes, and a box of paints. Congratulations, the note said. Horace had won his first real art supplies. The colors are simple, such as brown, amber, yellow, black, white, and green. When Horace grew up, he joined the army and sailed away. In France, Horace and his regiment dug deep trenches for protection. Planes droned overhead, gunfire rattled through the night. If the fighting stopped for a while, Horace put down his gun and picked up a pencil. The war brought out all the art in me. Horace was injured during the war and couldn't move his right arm well. He stopped painting for a while and married a woman named Jenny. One day, Horace decided to start drawing and painting again. With his left hand, he grasped his right wrist and was able to make pictures. As he delivered laundry or fished in the river, new ideas came. But he didn't paint them right away. Before he reached for a brush, Horace planned each new scene in his head. Horace painted roughly 140 works of art based on childhood memories, family stories, historical reports, photographs, movies, current events, and Bible scriptures, as well as his own neighborhood. Today, museums across the country proudly display the work of Horace Pippin a man who overcame many obstacles to pursue his dream of art. Let's take a look at some of Horace Pippin's artwork. This piece is called Interior. It was painted in 1944. It's an oil on canvas. What's happening in this painting? Let's describe some of the details we see. Interior represents a mother and her two children on a winter evening. The room is sparsely furnished. Frozen snow has accumulated at the window in the center background. An alarm clock to the right tells us that it is six o'clock. The mother sits in front of a stove as steam rises from a kettle in front of her. A girl sits on a quilt in the center foreground and cradles a doll. To the left, a boy stands at a table, possibly reading a book by the light of the candle. 
Recalling aspects of Pippin's childhood, most of his art represents members of African-American families pursuing a variety of household activities in a single multi-purpose room. The paintings have all the same quiet, peaceful atmosphere and feature many of the same common household items, such as rag rugs, quilts, a stove, and the alarm clock. Many of Pippin's paintings are considered semi-autobiographical. That means they are loosely based on memories from his life or childhood. This painting is titled Harmonizing. It was also painted in 1944 and is an oil on canvas. What's happening in this painting? Let's describe some of the details. This painting shows a quartet of African-American men singing ag against a fence beneath a light on a street in Westchester, not far from where the artist lived. The singers occupy the middle third of the painting with a house and parts of other buildings visible on the right and a church steeple peeking over the fence on the left. The men's outfits are the first things you notice, ranging from far farmer's overalls to bright shirts to a jacket with light colored pants, a sign that these singers do different sorts of work and live different sorts of lives. Not all of Horace Pippin's paintings included people. This one titled Victorian Interior Two was painted in 1945 and is also an oil on canvas. Let's take a closer look at the details in this painting. The word Victorian refers to a certain style of decoration in a house or room that would have been popular around the late 1800s and the early 1900s when Horace Pippin was alive. Let's take a closer look at the furniture. What do you notice on the back of the chairs? It looks like lace, doesn't it? Those are called doilies. Do you have those on your couch? or your chairs in your living room? Probably not. What about the lamp on the left? Definitely an old fashioned oil lamp. Look at the paintings on the walls in the background and the ornate frames. This living room or sitting room probably looks much different than the living room in your home. It certainly reflects the time that the artist was alive. Sadly, our artist, Horace Pippin, was living and making art in a time when our country was experiencing segregation. I'd like you to um, sit back and listen to this story. All Are Welcome by Alexandra Penfold and co-authored and illustrated by Suzanne Kaufman. Pencils sharpened in their case. Bells are ringing, let's make haste. School's beginning dreams to chase. All are welcome here. No matter how you start your day, what you wear when you play, or if you come from far away, all are welcome here. In our classroom, safe and sound, fears are lost and hope is found. Raise your hand, we'll go around. All are welcome here. Gather now, let's all take part. We'll play music, we'll make art. We'll share stories from the heart. All are welcome here. Time for lunch, what a spread. A dozen different kinds of bread. Pass it all around till everyone's fed. All 
are welcome here. Open doors, rush outside. We will sing, we will slide. We will have fun side by side. All are welcome here. We're part of a community. Our strength is our diversity. A shelter from adversity. All are welcome here. We will learn from each other. Special talents we'll uncover. There's a big world to discover. All are welcome here. So much to learn, so much to do. And when the busy day is through, can't wait to come back, start anew. All are welcome here. Head for home to get some rest and greet tomorrow ready and fresh. Our time together is the best. All are welcome here. You have a place here. You have a space here. All are welcome. Our lives today look much different than it did for, um, for our artist Horace Pippin. Although we still have a long way to go, um, today we're fortunate to live at a time when people's differences are uh, recognized, honored, and celebrated. So as, as you've seen throughout this lesson, Horace Pippin made art about his life. Now I want you to think about your home, your family, and your friends. What images come to mind? Maybe uh, having a family meal or uh, spending time playing a game with siblings or perhaps your grandparents or aunts or uncles or cousins. So what I'd like you to do with this lesson is create a drawing of something you know, something about your life, something that is familiar to you. If you'd like to draw pictures of um, your family or friends doing activities together, you are welcome to do that. If you are not very fond of drawing people, and maybe you'd just like to draw what your room looks like, or your living room, like Horace Pippin did, you are welcome to do that. You may use uh, watercolors, pencils, crayons, markers. You can collage, whatever you have on hand. So until next time, Clover and I are just gonna be sitting back in the studio um, reading about our artist, and uh, we can't wait to see what you come up with. Take care. Bye.